Oh dear. I hate that f***ing car. I say I hate that car. Right, okay, so. I've just adjusted the um, handbrake. And because that uh, it was sticking on the lever again. Um, so I've greased all that up and managed to free it off. I've got the handbrake working, okay. <sighs> Came to the car. Now, bearing in mind, we'd just come back. Got in the car, went to start it, went click, 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 click. Dead battery. So, what we got here. Now, I don't know whether you'll actually be able to see this, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, as you can see... We've got reaction there. Right, so... Yeah. You can see we've got a reaction on that end one. That's what that bubbling is. And we've got a reaction there. Hang on. There we go. Yeah. We've got a reaction on that one. And... Now, on this one here, yes, I know, I'm smoking while charging a battery. This one here doesn't have that much of a reaction. That one there has, and this one here. Yeah, so we've got reaction on all of them, except this one. So, what we do is that we put it on boost, and we try and increase the reaction. Whoa! The smell of rotten eggs. Right, so... Don't know whether you can see this, but yeah, we've got good reaction there, good reaction there. But we have, I think, a collapsed cell on that one. So this cell definitely isn't very well. This cell's okay, this cell's okay, this cell's okay, but this cell <sighs> has gone. Um, just looking into it. No, there's nothing. Very little. Okay. So, we shall. That's the problem with these things. Yeah. Well, as you can see, on that one, yeah, on those two, that one we've got a good reaction on, and that one we've got a good reaction on. Now, as far as charge goes, Right, there we go. It's focused. Um, it's taking around about 12, 13 amps. Something like that. So we'll leave it on charge for a couple of hours and then uh, see what happens. Oh dear. You know, just as a point of interest. Hang on. Yeah, this little battery charger. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, this little battery charger. Uh, auto water load protection. Duty cycle 100%. Uh, 140 amp. Um, so, but this, um, I think I've got it something like 2001. So this little battery charger is nearly 20 years old. It cost me about... I think it was about 200 quid when I bought it um, and it's been absolutely rock solid it will start basically anything um, I've started Jags and BMWs with it you know uh, motorcycles you name it I've started it with this so yeah 
so we'll leave it at that we're going to leave it for a couple of hours and then we're going to come back and see whether this battery 80 amp hour 700 amp long life technology expanded metal okay fair enough right but yeah so we'll leave it on charge for a couple of hours and then we'll um, come back to it and pop it back on the car and uh, let's see where it will start it uh. right so we're still on with battery problems with this bloody thing now as you can see i have my little piece connected in cables running all the way here i've got a multimeter so i can actually double check right so basically came out to the car yesterday well rather i've been dealing with the car for about 20 minutes half an hour um went to move it turn the key went click okay now we have just done a run up to leeds and back uh with my daughter for her appointment started absolutely fine no problems whatsoever this morning we were sat for maybe an hour and a half radio going that was about it um when i tried to start it just went click so we turn on and we see this is what i don't understand now so let's have a look at this it says not connected but it should connect okay so let's have a look found recorded profiles from reserum uh yeah okay ABS found module found module right okay so we shall if I can go on to oscilloscope right that's what I want to be looking at so as I go There we go. Now, if I turn this off, yeah, unable to run data stream. Please make sure ignition key is on and try again. So, there we go. So, that's the ignition on. on play right that's not a good sign the battery is dropping it is a lot you can see it yeah it went from 13 uh, 13 point something down and then it'll drop down again but it's charging but the alternator is charging absolutely yeah, no problems battery. whatsoever battery so we shall right okay uh, battery low voltage. Yeah, knackered. I told you the other day battery light stayed on when I'd moved it. Could have took notice then. Battery voltage, open, short, poor battery condition. Yeah. Uh, no error codes found. Uh -huh. Rear windshield wiper circuit relay failure. No, yeah, mm. Right, okay. Live data streaming. Now why 
keep you testing on demand. Right, so let's leave the ignition on. Right, none of those are highlighting. Vehicle not connected. No. Was a built ve vehicle built after June two thousand and three. Okay. Trying to access the FIP ICU module besides any attempt to move. Okay. So the. In Oops. That's unusual. No, it just said it's normal. Mm. Control module. Oh. No error codes found. Yeah, battery low voltage. I've got no windscreen wipers. Yeah, really, uh, okay, so what I'm doing here is that I'm setting up the um, thing. I want to have a look at that aircon clutch. Um, accelerator. Accelerator. Battery electrolyte temperature. Keep wandering off shot. And then <laughs> main demand for fuel injector. Have a look at the injectors to 
see what sort of state they're in. Mass airflow. Um, variable geometry turbocharger. Okay. So there we go. And then we run on play. I've got what? Great light. No, it's not a brake light, it's fog light. That's what I'm sorting out, that's why I got it plugged into that laptop. Oh sorry, I thought you got your brakes on. No. <laughs> right, okay, so we got all of that. So, solving the battery problem. Hopefully, yes. Right, I've measured this battery up. That one's about as wide as this one, but it's about an inch shorter. Which doesn't really matter anyway, because everything just goes in the middle and goes across. Right, now, as you can see, this one's an 80 amp hour, 700 amp. Which means that 700 amp is the crank, cranking power. So that's where it delivers on cold crank. This one, however, which it says is right for the car, is only 78 amp hours, which is the slow drain, and 690 cc air, which is cold cranking amps. Well, it's got a two year guarantee, so fuck it. Right, and now the Weevil will demonstrate why we are changing it. The Weevil will demonstrate why we are, why we are changing it assuming of course she wakes up yes you need to open it because it locks itself no that's locked it that's unlocked it the weevil is not sure how the buttons work even though they are clearly marked right anyway we look at that Go on. Well, as you probably just heard there, it was turning really, really slowly, which means that this battery is now draining. So, we're going to change the battery out. Right. Okay. What was that? I've never heard that noise from it before. Anyway. So, when disconnecting batteries, oops, we always do this one first and then the live. Because if we hit a tool on the body with this one, it doesn't matter because that's the earth. If you hit a tool when you're on the live, sparky sparky, dead battery. Right, and back when it's changed. Right, so, battery's all changed. You can't really see anything. I mean, it's getting a bit dark out here. Right. Terminals all connected, so the weeble will now see what happens with the battery. Well, we've certainly got brighter light. Turn the aircon off! That's the aircon pump. Nice. Yeah, that's the aircon pump, that's what sort of row it makes, because the clutch is gone. Right, turn the lights off. <coughs> turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Oh, God. Okay. 
Hey? What? Oh. Right, just give it a burst. No. Oh. Jesus Christ. Move your foot. Right, well, throttle response is much better. So that must have been part of the problem of why it was uh, dicking around so much. But anyway, right, problem that I encountered with these terminals was that the other terminals were smaller than these ones. A lot smaller. So you have to put a screwdriver in, in that little gap there um, and prise it open a bit. But otherwise, that's it, that's done. It's as easy as that for a battery change. And then all we do is we line that up, do that, there we go, that's it, that's all done. Right, so if you can gather up tools and sling them away and I, no don't turn it off, I'm going to reset the windows. No, I'm not being arsy about it. You put your hand out and reach to turn it off I and shut so it down. I turn it off. Yeah, and then put your hand out before I got a chance to answer. Oh. Right, so... A lot of people find these windows a complete pain in the arse because they will go down, but, as you can see, they won't go up. Right, so, what you do is that you do that, then you press it for a second, bring it down, and fuck all happens. Right, now it should have learned. Yes, there we go. Right, so this window goes down absolutely fine, all the way back up, press the button. And then bring it down, stop it, and it goes back up. Same with the back one. Take it back up. Press the button for a second, down it goes, and there it goes back up. And then we finally we've got this one, which is whoops, wrong one down and back up press the button and that's it that's the windows all reset
bedroom. Right, there we go. Let's find out who you are up against. Hi, so now that's all set up. Now, we'll flick some lights on. Right, of course this has all reset itself, so... There's on 20 degrees, 159 mile range. There we go. And she's at 166,881. Uh, and I got a feeling that. Right, everything's working. I, I got a feeling that battery was on that car from it being new. So, I don't know. Right, anyway. Let's just make sure that the windows. Yeah, the windows come down alright. The windows go up all right and it's a lot more responsive than it ever was before a lot more responsive what the fuck